Hey everybody, and Tony here with a review of Wagner's Parsifal with Donald Renickles on the podium, which I saw at the Deutsche Oper Berlin. And this was also the same production I saw two years ago, directed by Philipp Stölzel. I was mainly anticipating this production because Daniela Zindram was our Kondri tonight. Yes, there were also other singers like Klaus Florian Vogt, Stephen Milling, Andrew Harris, Thomas Johannes Meyer, and Derek Walton, but I'll get to them later. But first, Daniela Zindram as Kondri. How did she fare, you ask? I thought she pulled off this role fabulously. First of all, she was such a stage animal. She was a very involved performer on stage, and she was just so athletic. She had a very sleek and slim figure, which she put into such a great advantage in terms of this iconic Wagner heroine. Over the years, we have seen Daniela Zindram grow from singing a lot of the lyric mezzo roles, mostly specializing in a lot of the pants roles, to fully blooming into the more dramatic mezzo repertoire. And in 2017, she'll be singing her first Zeglinde. She nowadays specializes in roles like Brangena, Fricka, and of course, Kundri, while alternating with roles like Hensel and Octavian, with a great amount of success. I even saw this wonderful mezzo several months ago as Adriano from Wagner's Rienzi, and I thought she did a wonderful job in this role as well. I thought that this was at her finest. This was her finest hour, and she sang the absolute hell out of this role. Her high notes were extremely incisive, especially when she hits those high Bs. They were just like thunderbolts coming down from the clouds, and she just sang this role with such extreme declamation, and she even had a lot of solid low notes. She was able to sing this role with such beauty, grandeur, but at the same time a lot of great psychological detail, considering the fact that Kondri is a very multi-dimensional character. She finds a lot of great opportunities to show off her magnificent figure in terms of this character, and she really knew how to pull off this role with such finesse, with such beauty, power, and a great sense of intelligence and understanding of this character for what she went through. She was not only a great singer, but she was also an involved actress as well. She was physically captivating and she sang this role with such fiery abandon. She was the absolute star of the evening. Klaus Florian Vogt, in his signature role of Parsifal, was yet another solid performer. He continues to have great musicianship, great acting skills, and he was just absolutely youthful on stage. And yes, even though his voice may not always be ideal in terms of roles like Parsifal or Sigmund or many other Spinto tenor roles of the German repertoire, it still manages to sound young and fresh, and he has, as I stated before, great musicianship. And that is his absolute forte, and he really knows how to use that great sense of musicianship, and he has great theatricality, and he was just absolutely charming on stage, as he's always been. Andrew Harris was a superb titurel, and he has a great future in terms of all the leading basso roles. I would love to see this gentleman perform in roles like Philip II, Ramphis, Sparafucile, Ferrando from Il Trovatore, Timur from Turandot, Fazelt from Das Rheingold, Enrico from Anna Bolena, Raimondo from Lucia della Mermur, Rodolfo from La Sonambula, Giorgio from I Puritani, and Oravesso from Norma. This guy has an excellent future ahead of him, especially when it comes to singing all of these wonderful leading basso roles. Stephen Milling was an absolutely involved Gornemans 
It was announced that he was under the weather, which is why he sounded strained in certain passages. But I could forgive all that as he was a singer who knew how to inject this role with nobility, strength, and charisma, thus making him a very involved figure on stage. And he sang the absolute hell out of this role, despite some moments where he couldn't make it with certain notes because of his illness. He really knew how to use that basso profondo voice with such finesse, strength, endurance, and he was just absolutely involved on stage. Derek Welton was a menacing Klingzor, and he has a bright future in terms of singing more villainous roles like Tel Ramund from Lohengrin and even ambiguous characters like the Dutchman from The Flying Dutchman and of course Dr. Schoen and Jack the Ripper from Lulu. This gentleman has a very sterling and steely stage presence, helped by the fact that he has a very round, rich, and incisive Helden Baritone voice that he uses with such great abandon, and he was a total gentleman on stage, menacing yet charming, and he really knew how to pull off Klingzor with the best of his abilities. Thomas Johannes Meyer was a powerful Amfortas, at the same time, he also conveyed the agony that this character was going through. He was absolutely involved as a singing actor that I was totally immersed in his performance. He really knew how to sing the absolute hell out of this character and even act the absolute hell out of this character as well. He was totally involved on stage, which is helped by his rough, round and rich hand and body tone instrument which he has been very famous for internationally. He continues to give off such great musicianship and he continues to be very involved as a singing actor. And we even have such wonderful singing from the two Knights of the Grail, lyric tenor Andrew Dickinson and the very fine basso Alexia Botnarschuch as they sang wonderfully. We even had the two tenor squires of Paul Kaufmann and Robert Watson who used their lyric tenor voices to the best of their abilities. Anika Schlich who sang one of the squires, the heavenly voice, and one of the flower maidens with her sterling mezzo contralto instrument. Alexandra Hutton who sang one of the squires and one of the flower maidens with her silvery and gorgeous light lyric coloratura soprano instrument and even the additional flower maidens of Shaban Stagg's gorgeous lyrical coloratura soprano instrument Elena Zalagova's lovely lush light lyric soprano instrument Irene Roberts gorgeous high lyric mezzo instrument, and Adriana Ferfetska's absolutely gorgeous lyric soprano instrument. So there was a lot of fantastic singing in this entire opera, and special kudos has to go to Daniela Zindram, who sang the absolute hell out of Kundri, and also the likes of Klaus Florian Vogt, Stephen Milling, Andrew Harris, Derek Welton, and Thomas Johannes Meyer, and all of the other grand singers of all of the minor roles. You all did very wonderfully, and I was extremely involved in all of your performances. And the conducting done by Donald Runnicles, you know what, what can I say about this gentleman? He is an absolute pro when it comes to conducting works from Wagner, and the audience just went wild over this guy every time he entered the pit, and the chorus of the Deutsche Oper Berlin was, as to be expected, absolutely sterling. So overall, there was a lot of great singing to be found and excellent conducting to be found in Mr. Donald Runnicles. I highly recommend this production, 
and I'm sure that you will not regret seeing such great singers grace the stage. Well, that's all for now. For those of you who have caught this production, I would also love to hear your opinions as well. Did you love this production? Did you feel iffy about some of the singers? Did you feel like some of the singing could have been improved? Comment below and let me know. And stay tuned tomorrow for my review of Vampire Hunter D Bloodless. So until then, have a great evening everybody.